Hey guys, so this is some um, a tutorial that somebody wanted to make which you could use in a horror game or something like that and it's about activating a fisheye effect or similar when you enter a trigger. So all I've got is a box in my scene and it's boxed with a box collider and it's tagged as is trigger. Um, now on your first person controller you need to make sure that's got a tag of player and you know you can add a new tag down there. Now you know this is I'm going to try and be as quick as possible because it's fairly simple. And I have covered stuff like this many times. So if you create new JavaScript and call it um, fisheye trigger, then what we'll do is open up in Mono Develop. And then what I'm going to do is delete these two starting functions, write private variable fisheye as type fisheye, like that. But watch the um, uppercase and lowercase in that. Then I'm going to say function start, two brackets, two curly brackets below, and then say that fish i with a capital E lowercase f equals game object dot find open brackets quotes main camera. Close that up dot get component open brackets um, fish i with a capital F lowercase e with a semicolon. Then we'll say that fish i dot enabled equals false so that's it for now so we're just referencing the fish eye script and then we'll make sure it's false at the beginning then we're going to say function on trigger enter open brackets call colon collider close those two brackets add two color brackets below and say that if call dot tag is equal to quotes player close that up add two curly brackets below then what we'll say is fisheye dot enabled equals true. Then we'll say yield wait for seconds. Then we'll say in brackets one for one second. Then we'll say fisheye dot enabled equals false. And then we'll say destroy game object. Close that up and add a semicolon. We'll save that out and we'll go back into Unity now. And then we'll add the fisheye trigger to our collider. And then what we'll need to do is actually add the fisheye script to the main camera. So if you go main camera then go compone image effects fisheye. Then you might want to change the fisheye to about 0.5 and then press play obviously nothing happens until we walk into the collider that something changes it waits a second it goes away and the collider's disappeared so it's a one time thing you can obviously change this so it lasts longer you know you don't have to destroy the collider so it happens every time it just depends what you want to do but that's just a simple way of also, you know enabling and disabling sort of images image effects on a collider so thanks very much for watching and if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe Cheers.